Why the fuck is everyone so damn unreliable, man? I hate this shit. It's so annoying. Like... Maybe six. <laughs> it's probably my top pet peeve of all time is... I get it. Planning something and thinking, oh yeah, people, they said they'll come in it. And here we are. What episode are we on? Number six? I know it's maybe six, yeah, but come on, G. <laughs> I don't think we've had more than three or four people on at once. Four. Two people have never attended. Yeah, we. Uh, <laughs> well, I wonder how many episodes. I, should, I feel like that should be the running gag now. How many episodes before we get at least one of them to join? I'm gonna go for seven. I reckon eleven. Oh. Eleven. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go. We're about. Both, either one. One of them has to join. Wait, who who hasn't? Who hasn't? Well, so far, only Leah the, and Brian. Yeah, only us three plus Holly have ever been here. Uh, Brian, Leah, and Brian. Brian, Leah, and Brian. Brian, Leah, and Brian. Yeah, 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 Brian, Leah, Wherever we're winning, anyway, attendance and all that. Jordan, you didn't join our gym thing. Join that shit, bruh. What? What are we talking about? What's... I'm changing it because I just had a talk with Hannah about it being activities, and she was like, um, some people just go and do like one well, three-hour like, session, and I'm like, what well, the we... hell are you doing at the gym for three hours? No, but basically, we was doing it on calories, but I understand why people don't want to do it on calories. Like, I completely get it. But then Ant changed it to activity. But the issue is, what I was saying is, I'm not someone to go to the gym like a lot. I'm someone to go for like less, like I'm there to. I, I go for a longer amount of time, less times a week. Like I'm not the someone to go like five times a week for an hour. I'm someone to go for like three times a week for two hours, which yeah. is technically more than the other person. Yes. But it would count as less. So that's why. So I'm like, like, it makes no sense because if oh. someone goes to the gym in the morning and the evening, then they've recorded two activities. But if someone else goes in the evening but goes for longer than the other person won't combined, but then they're like, it looks like they've done less work when actually they've done more. And then I was so saying, I was like, if we're making it into a competition, then it makes no sense. And like, I was like, first of all, no one goes to the gym twice a day that I'm aware of. Other than maybe. And not even the gym, like, a workout. Like, Second of all, you have some leg to stand on. So that's why I thought, okay, let me check if there's a duration. And there is. So I'll probably change it to duration. And it's yeah. that way. People that don't want to track like calories and that don't have to. But if you go for longer, you get rewarded for going and work or doing like, let's say you do a long walk and then you do gym. That counts rather than two activities. I I, the reason I don't like it is the fact that everyone is first right now. And I'm like, but we all did different shit. What's the app? There's a link in the Discord. But that's what I mean. Like someone could literally walk to the shops or like, they could literally walk to Domino's to get a pizza and call it an activity. And I, I get that you're only cheating yourself. Yes. Because like, we're all doing it to lose weight and like not even to lose weight, but just to get healthier and to feel healthier. So I get that you're only cheating yourself. But if we are making it into a competition where like, we have to like pay money or, or things like that, like the loser has to, do you know what I mean? Then I'm like, then it makes no sense because someone can easily just cheat it to win. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm doing it to win because I'm competitive. I, I, even if there's no money involved, bro. You see me? I, mean. I need to be first, too. bro. I need to be first place. Well, you're behind now. No, but I've gone to the gym. I just haven't recorded it because I was like, I give up. Like, I don't I don't agree with the way that it's, we're doing it. So I was a bit like, what's the point? Like, I've gone to the gym quite a few times. I'll, I'll record it if we're doing it different. I'll put in how long. Yeah, I'll calculate we're how doing long duration now. Course. And now you've got no yeah. excuse. Yeah, I think I'll just backtrack. From when we started. I think you can add from previous days, provided you have. Yeah, I think you can. Just change date. Yeah. Bro, in the... Yeah, you said in the Discord, bro, there's multiple right. channels, bro. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I look, the I look main down and hey? all I see is writing. Oh, I suppose it's not even in the right channel. Fair, 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 fair. Uh, Your excuse. Here. Uh, um... 
fucking stag. How many of us are there now? <laughs> there are... I don't know. There I will... don't know who's in it. Yes, you do. The only person you don't know in there is Jade. That's my friend who went to join. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, Gosh. seven, Jordan being eight. You know everyone else in there. Yeah, I do know everyone else in there. I don't know why I said I don't. <laughs> I mean, I've only met one of them once, but I'm, yeah, I've met them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jordan's faded into the distance. I'm just seeing his background, you know. <laughs> For a second, you just were not in it at all. Yeah, it's because I was leaning forward and it was like... Leaning. Oh, yeah, his background is really, like, throbbing me. In the anime. I'm checking my food. Hold up. Oh, Mate, he's off. He's gone. He's literally just a I know, he's still in, he's still in the shot, I mean. That's crazy. <laughs> What are you eating? I'm like, am I dead ass just gonna eat off my mic? I will meet myself in between bites. I'm not trying to ASMR this shit. I'm starving, so I need to eat. Wait, sorry, what you eat? I can't hear you very well. I'm eating, but I'm not gonna eat beside my mic because it's not ASMR. But like, what? What food is it? I got rice, some veg, some ribs. Mm. You know how I do. Okay. Yes, you know me. I've anyway. realized. You've realised? At the moment, like, ever since I moved... Do you know when I moved into my own house, I thought that I was going to be so healthy? <laughs> but honestly. It's do you not... know, no, like, when I moved... Because I had, like, a new kitchen, I was like, I'm going to... This is me. This is me being, like, extremely healthy. And I was so unhealthy. But now I've moved in with my nan, and I rent the house out, like, I'm now healthier than I was. Like, I don't snack. I literally have my cup of tea and my biscuit in the morning. Mm -hmm. Biscuits. I have, like, two or three. Um, and then I don't eat again until dinner. Or, like, I might have a lunch, but it's a healthy lunch. Girls. Like, I'm not snacking, huh? Girls. You just said. What do you mean? Oh my god. Oh. Did you not hear what was mad about what you just said? That's mad. What, that I might not eat lunch? You eat a single biscuit and a no, cup no, of tea. No, I have like two or three. I have like two, like, it's like rich tea biscuits. I'll have two or three rich tea biscuits and a, a cup of tea. And then I used to, like, no, when I first moved in with my nan, I was having, like, a uh, regular, to have biscuits and tea in the morning, then porridge at lunch, and then a meal. But I haven't really been eating lunch lately just because I've been so busy with work. Like, work's been so busy that I just haven't had a, haven't had a chance to, like, take a lunch. Or if I've taken a lunch, like, I'm busy. I'm still work. I don't know. Like, I haven't had a chance to eat. Um, but I also forget to eat. Like, and this is crazy because I never understood how people forgot to eat. But now, like, I'm so busy with work. And I don't know, like, because my nan lives a healthy life and I don't want to be buying loads of snack food to, like, bring into the house because she'd judge me. Um, so in, like, when I lived alone, I'd buy, like, loads of, like, rubbish food and just, like, snack on it. But now mm. I feel like, literally, I'll buy, like, some bags of crisps and I feel like that's enough, like, junk food in the house. And I'm like, that's too much. Sometimes we'll have a bit of chocolate at night or something like that, but that's it. Like... And then, and then we have like a healthy dinner. Like literally, my dinner is meat, carbs, veg. Isn't like... that every dinner? <laughs> Sorry. Isn't that most people's dinner? But it didn't used to be my dinner. It used to be very like much. Did not gross. used to be my dinner. So now, yeah. I mean, today I had sausages, jacket potato, and um. Oh my gosh, I didn't... Did I Did I even have veg today? I don't think I had veg. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. But I normally will have like um, like carrots, broccoli and peas. What did you eat today, Jordan? That is a good question. Sorry. I have to actually... <laughs> um, sweet, uh, sweet and sour chicken with wings. Mm. Vegetables. Um... I got to work at like, because uh, I started work at 3, no, yes, 3, so got there at 8 and just like, and some chips from a bowl, but not that many, so not much, that's why I haven't had much, that's what happens when I go to work there, a lot of the time it's like, as soon as I sit down, it's like, oh yeah, time to go to eat, yo, can you answer this question for me please, I'm just like, nah, before, when I was on my lunch break, you couldn't talk to me, 
<laughs> There's nothing oh, well, you we, can do, we right? We have our lunch breaks in, like, the same area as where we work anyway, so it's like... Nah, bro, you don't understand. If I try I and ignore someone... Listen to you. I will like, ignore you. Jump. I'm like, I'm on my break. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I, tried bef- I tried before, and they were like... A fucking woman stood next to me. I was like, George, can you not hear me? You got no, no. In. I'll be like, no, I hear you. But what you need to hear is I'm on my lunch, brother. <laughs> Oh my god. It's just, it's not, uh, I'll just, I'll look up, like, mid-chew, like, hmm? And they're like, oh, can you, uh, just tell me, uh, did this person do this? I'm just like, oh, there's like four other people here, why are you asking me? Like, yeah, I don't know, you know, you men just don't eat, bro. I don't just, I, sometimes I eat a lot during the day, but sometimes I don't. It just depends, like, tomorrow I should eat properly, because I'm, like, milking my... Bro, half my day is planned around food. What? When my next meal? I like, I love eating food. This is a thing, like, I love eating food. Um, But I do eat a big, like, dinner. Like, I don't, you might listen to me and think, oh my gosh, this girl doesn't eat. Like, no, I do eat, I eat a big dinner. Um, And, but the thing is, for me, is I'm still not losing weight. Like, unless I severely track, um, unless I severely, um, cut my calories i'm not losing weight um so i just don't need to consume a lot of calories to survive which really is annoying because i wish i did because i would love to be able to eat more but as soon as i eat like that little bit too much i just put weight on it's so annoying it's so annoying yeah, there's two ways That's why I'm there's two to, like, ways to do exercise. a yeah to do a deficit you can either just straight up up the lower your calories and do nothing else or Lower your calories you see, a bit, but then also like increase I, your activity. Some, I mean, some days, I think like everyone, some days, you know, you sit there and you think, oh my, like I haven't eaten that much today. Then other days you realize that you ate like your whole kitchen. Um, but I'm trying to like be healthy and I'm trying to, I do kind of calculate in my head what I eat to make sure that I'm not eating too much, but I'm also not eating too little. But I do think I do need to start like incorporating a lunch in. I did have lunch yesterday. Um, I had crumpets. So, um, but yeah, Sunday. usually my lunch is like carbs. It will either be like like porridge, crumpets, or rice. I, I love having rice. You had lunch yesterday because yesterday was Sunday. Yeah, I no, I worked yesterday though. Wow. I don't normally work on a weekend, but when my colleague is off on weekends, I always rate myself work on the, the day that she's off just because if no one's working like it's chaos so i make sure that someone is always working you mean you sorry you mean you make sure you're always working well no but like if no one is working i'm still going to be messaged like don't get like if even if i'm not rotated to work i am still going to get messaged but fair enough because we need someone still working that day. So I'm it makes sense. No boundaries. It makes sense for me to be like, oh, no, but I did take off Friday afternoon. I mean, I, I took off like a couple of, I did overwork. I worked longer than I should have. But I, I I work at home. Do you know, I work at home. Like, I, I'm not traveling in and home. I literally would just work. I, I, yeah. I like my job, so I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do literally though, like talking about going on lunch, I do feel like every time I take a lunch break is my boss or someone in the company is like, I'm gonna phone Hannah. Like they don't know that I'm going on my lunch though. So they have no clue. I feel like it, it just ends up being that exact moment. I'm like, I'm gonna go on lunch. 10 minutes later, my phone's ringing. I'm not answering. No, I always, I can't not answer. That's the yeah, thing, I, know. Like, I cannot. You're not to answer your phone on a hard day. I, if I don't answer my phone because it's on like do not disturb or something, like sometimes if I'm going in and out of meetings, my phone is on do not disturb, um, just so like, yeah, so my phone is on ring when I'm in the meeting. And sometimes I forget to turn it off or I just decide to leave it off. And then if my phone, like someone phones me and obviously it goes to voicemail, I, I always feel so guilty. Like I'm phoning them back, like I'm so sorry, I missed your call like seven minutes ago. Jesus. But like, it's chill. <laughs> I'm like, no, I hate it. I always feel guilty. Then stop. Oh, okay. I'm about to say stop, but then uh, I don't think you can. If it's, if it's family or friends, then I feel bad. If it's work, I'm like, oh, Who wow, gives that's a fuck? crazy. He's like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> like, I no. miss your call. Cool. Ah, oh, catch me oh, on Monday, no. bro. The thing, the thing is, though, that like I find that you have to find the balance with is 
yes, you do need to be like, I'm not like, this is my time completely 100%. I agree with that. But at the same time, sometimes if I'm struggling at work and I need someone to answer the phone, generally they do answer it as well. So like, I feel like we all kind of help each other out. So, I mean, if it's like, if it's seven o'clock and yes, I technically finished at six, but if someone needs my help, I don't want to turn around and be like, no, I'm not going to help you. If it's going to take me like a minute of my time and it's going to save them like a lot of effort. How often you know? is it actually a minute of your time? Sorry? How often is it actually a minute of your time? No, but sometimes all they need is for me to check something and I just have to go up, open my laptop, look on it and tell them. I'm not doing that, bro. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm or like, that. or it might just be replying to a message. Like, I'm on my phone a lot of the day. Like, or it's next to me. So if someone messages me, all I have to do is read it and answer. Like, I, I, it doesn't, like, it literally takes, like, 10 seconds, 20 seconds to read their message and reply to them. If it's going to help them out, like, why would I not do that? I don't, yeah, I don't know. I get that people won't. They have boundaries. You know how I know you have a problem? To. It's because one time I saw you messaging about work when we were out. And I was like, why are you messaging work now? What? Yeah. what? But the thing is, I work I work for a restaurant chain where they are serving people at like 11 o'clock at night. Well, yeah, the restaurant shuts at like 11. So if I'm, yeah, we might be out at like nine, nine half nine, but that's when it's like busy in the venue. So if they need my help with something, I'm going to answer and I can go on my phone. And, yeah, I am. I, I, yeah, I know. I shouldn't, yeah, I but... Yeah, we we discussed this. I can't Hannah think. Hannah's the type to be getting beaten by some guy, and she'll answer the Apologize phone. Apologize to him for hurting his knuckles. No, and then what beating means have sex with, by the way, and <laughs> I think it means <laughs> I. Me wow, I was like, where did? She... Whoa, that's not where I was going. I meant have sex with, you know, like let's say you get your partner, you be in the middle of sex. <laughs> And you'll just you'll just pick up the phone. Oh, uh, let me just quickly respond to this work thing, you know. <laughs> oh my god, I'm still joking. That was so funny that you. <laughs> I really thought you meant like you're getting beaten up by someone, and I was gonna be like, yeah, and I'm gonna apologise to them. Like I'm so sorry. Like I, hurt your and I was like, what? That's not what I meant. Oh my god. Oh my god, I honestly am like I'm someone to walk into a chair and be like, I'm so I've apologised to countless chairs and like. Or someone will walk into me and I say sorry. I yeah, I just I don't know. I'm just weird. You are like practice this shit. Yeah, yeah, probably. But I don't mind. I feel good about myself for helping people. So it's selfish, kind of. Uh huh. You know. Like I said, I'd struggle to sleep if like I just ignored someone and they really needed my like help. I said, I like I no. said, you're going to have sex with someone one day. Your work phone will buzz and you'll pick it up. And that will be the end of that. <laughs> the thing is, you can't even deny it. <laughs> oh, God, you make me sound so lame. I can't I think am. of a scenario that would stop me having... Bro, you would have to ring me like six times. And you better be dying. You'd have to make me, you'd have to make me think it was an emergency. Jeez, for me to stop like come on man i'll be like all right hey you better be either dead or dying Fine. yeah like come on to... and the worst part is that's actually gonna happen yeah and i'm like oh yeah. oh shit okay I'm so, do you know do you know about this you know about, oh, such and such i'm just like yeah what about them oh, they died it's like oh man you just, ruined, you just ruined my sex now man like, <laughs> rest in peace and all that but like come on man <laughs> Could have been in, could have been in, could have been in text or something. Technically, like, it's you, your fault. Yeah, just text me that. Like, I don't like, wanna... pre-warn me in it. It's Isn't just it? like, I have bad news, so I call you now or later. Like, wait, you're in it. Let me get my post that currently off first. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Hannah's face. Like, what the fuck are these men on? I don't pick up the phone during sex for... I'm sorry. I... You've done it before, haven't you? What? Me? Wow! <laughs> you I'm have... not contributing to this conversation. You have done that before, haven't you? No, I am not contributing to this conversation right now. <laughs> um, 
the voice of the girl. This is this is a conversation between the two of you. Like uh-uh. this is not this. No, this yeah, is, I'm not. This is an open conversation. No, you can, nah, you can, you I talk too much. Feel, you guys, you feel. guys take the floor with this one. You can say what you want. It's fine. There's no judgment <laughs> here. True. There's no judgment here. I, I mean, I've done it. I've done it like a few times, but that's because I was that's because I was um, with my last partner, and he didn't really give a fuck about it. Not like I wasn't like mid mid cheek beating and being like, "Hello, yeah, yeah, yeah it's fine." Nothing like that. I just feel like, oh, hold on. Um, I'm not I'm that guy to do that either. <laughs> just answer like. Me, it was like if I could see who it was, okay, no. and it was important, I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna need to stop, like, it's family call, isn't it? If it's just, so, if it's just someone, I'm like, clearly they don't know me well enough to not call me, so that's their fault, isn't it? Yeah, but all I'm hearing is Hannah's yeah. definitely, uh... <laughs> you did a mad I'm, thing. I'm just is... not contributing, like... She, she this... probably did it in, like, the most, like, this is abrasive not... way possible as well, just like, just like, mid-stroke, like, Get off me, man. Work is calling. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like that kind of thing. And he's just laying there, violated. And it's like, well, all right. And then, like, even... when she's down on the phone, she's like, are you going to fuck me then? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, I didn't say we were finished. So I just said we needed, I needed to answer the phone. And get back to it. Hey! Oh. <laughs> To be fair, that would that would that, that would reignite me if someone said that to me. I don't know, like, just relax. That would never work oh, for man. me. As soon as you oh, answer the phone, I'm 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 like, alright, you know what? I'm leaving, bro. Where, where where's the exit? Yeah. Get me out of here, bro. What? No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm a, I suppose there's differences in it. I'm a demon. I'd be like, I can carry on while you're on your phone, innit? It's fine. No. Nah. I'll, I'll, I'll be. Bro, the I'll, way I'll, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be quiet. <laughs> The way I I'm doing my business, that that can't happen about quiet. Nah, it man. It to me. Not for me. You just got it. You just you just can't be like, I don't know. You just have to start slowing it, isn't it? Yeah. You know? <laughs> just be like, oh yeah, yeah. Answer the phone. Don't worry. It's alright. It's like, oh hello. Bye, bye. Literally. <laughs> hey. Yeah, you like that girl? <laughs> and you're just like, I uh. Why, uh, it's, it's actually it's not, it's not, actually her mum called and you're like, oh sorry. <laughs> it's like, oh, All right, Hannah, who called you during sex? Oh no. Do we not? I'm generally not having this conversation. With Come you. on, I'm curious no. now. Who did it? Can we move on? No. <laughs> no. No. Oh my god. We could make a note. We could make like a. Note it's fine. It's already been like. That we come back. To it's already talk. been. I've, it's already been implied. I, I know yeah. too much. It's not been implied. I've not implied anything. I've not. I've not said anything. <laughs> it's, it's implied. Anyone who hasn't. Anyone who definitely hasn't done something. Would done something own up to not exactly. You did not do you that. You were like, oh no, I'm not having that conversation. So we know you. Do it. It's all right. Like, it's How do we even get onto this topic anyway? Honestly, you want to talk about punctuality. Well, we did. And I said, did I we? hate that people are not punctual. It's my number one pet peeve. And it's getting on my nerves. Would that be a punctuation clause or would it be a pet peeve? Well, it's more to do with just be attend things that you say you're going to attend, bro. Yeah, I think things I must, still... I must admit, like, I have never can like you know i pride myself on this like i never cancel on people i never have and i never will unless like i really like absolutely need to cancel so i just won't um and it yeah, really but you're won't. another extreme yeah no i'm definitely ex- an extreme of like but the thing is that you never know like why i, I don't know like it just really stresses me out like i you know like i'm someone i have like anxiety and i'd feel guilty if i cancelled on someone because I don't know, like, if I'd said I'm going somewhere with someone, I don't know, like, what they've done to make that arrange. I don't know. But I just don't want to cancel on someone. Like, if it's a mutual thing, then that's fine. Like, if we both wake up and we're like, oh, we're really tired today, why don't we do it tomorrow or something? Like, that's mm. one thing. But if someone is wanting to go somewhere and I've made an arrangement to go there or to meet up, I'm not going to turn around and just cancel. Like, I wouldn't do that. Even if I didn't want to go, I would still go anyway. Also, Hannah. Guy on Tinder asks, hey, you want to meet up? Ghosts. 
No, but that's different. I've never said I'll meet up with someone, wow. made a date, made a time. And but why then... are you chatting to men? I don't, though. I've, we've had this conversation. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We're Every ready time... to go back into it. I don't talk to anyone. I've literally, my literal day consists of waking up, working, watching TV, eating, sleeping, repeat. Occasionally, 40? I might message a couple of friends. That's it. Like, I don't. Are you 40? She's a girl boss. <laughs> Sorry? I said, Are you 40? <laughs> Mate, more like 80. <laughs> you just this... Watching my, like, bargain hunt or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, um, weird segue. Did you watch Doctor Who? I watched the new watch one. It? Yeah, it was, it was right. Both? You watched both? No, just the second one. Just you haven't watched the first one. No. No. Oh, the second one. I, I, I read like a lot of comments. Some people said they preferred the first. Some people said the second. I mean, if you've not watched the first, you can't compare. But I liked the first one because it was very much like family, like a family kind of um, setting, mm. and it was like quite fun and quite like crazy. And I don't know, I quite liked it. The second, I liked the first story more than the second story. But what I liked about the second one is it was just them. And I was really hoping there would be a lot more scenes with just them, which there was. So I was happy about that. And also, like, you could really, like, even the enemy was them. So it, it was really cool. I didn't like the last five minutes. Not not with not with Bernard Cribbins. That bit, great. But the bit before that, when he flew off with the wrong Donna, that... Ooh, no, that honestly traumatized me, and I'm still like reeling from it. The fact that he got it wrong, and he didn't didn't it tell him on like the computer that she was the alien? Yeah, scanned it. Scanned and then it. and then he was like, "Oh yeah, I knew it wasn't you because of your wrist." And I was like, "No, you didn't." That's you didn't, what he you scanned. Knew That's what the scanner told him. It told him it was what was it point whatever millimeters too long. As a haha, your arm's too long, like they said at the beginning. May I? I was so angry. He didn't... I, I get, like... He should have taken them both on the TARDIS. I honestly, like... Because I got really scared. Because part of me was like, no. Like, obviously, John is not going to die. But then the other part of me was thinking, maybe this is what sets up the third seat... Like, the third episode that she has died. And he realises that she's dead. And maybe that's what leads into his regeneration. Even I knew I started true. having... I, like, I paused it to, like, prepare myself. Because I was honestly, like, freaking yeah, out. Yeah, see, and then I played it. Like and even I after I watched it, I literally had to sit there like, oh my goodness. And then I had to go back and make sure that he then had picked up who right Donna, just to make sure that it was actually her. My problem with Doctor Who tends to run with the, the logic of the show with making no fucking sense. But I've, no, yeah. I've been sense. informed that that's just standard. I'm like, okay, fair. As long as they know, I'm cool with it. <laughs> but that's why, like, I think about this a lot. That's why I like Russell T. Davis is right. Don't get me wrong, like, David Tennant is we all know it's like my favorite actor my favorite person in the world um but uh, it, you gotta put it down to like russell t davis's writing as well because he has been like a really good show writer and other other people during his like reign have come in and wrote good episodes like stephen moffat wrote the uh blink episodes the one with the weeping angels and they were good episodes they weren't my favorite but i liked them um but after he left, it just, with the River Song arc and the Clara arc, you had to, you couldn't go into Doctor Who and just watch an episode and understand it because of, of you had to watch like all the episodes to understand it. Whereas with Russell T. Davis, you could literally watch one episode or like, you know, a two-parter and completely understand everything that was happening. You know, there was like the Bad Wolf arc with Rose Tyler. And then obviously there was like the Donna arc with who she is, but that I'm was not. it, yeah. Please yeah. remember, I have not watched any other Doctor Who. I've watched this... Wait. I've watched, like, occasional episodes here and there, but I happened to watch well, this episode. Well, with, like, Russell T. Davis and David Tennant originally, and, like, Christopher Eccleston, there was literally no arcs, apart from very basic arc that... It, you didn't... It didn't confuse anything. Like, you could watch pretty much every single episode of David Tennant's era and Christopher Eccleston's era and understand it like completely uh -huh. there was very there was in there was one small arc about the bad wolf and that was rose tyler and then there was like donna noble being um like she the the tardis keep, keeps drawing them together and like why does the tardis keep drawing the doctor and donna together they were the two arcs but then you left his era and you went to like 
Matt Smith, Peter Capaldi, Jodie Whittaker. And they was like crazy storylines that I there's some episodes that I still I've watched them like three times and I still don't understand. And I just have to sit there and be like, what? And maybe I'm dumb. Like maybe it's me. I don't know. Maybe it's like I maybe I'm just not like intellectual enough to watch these episodes. I don't know. But they confuse me so much. Like I can enjoy it but mm-hmm. still not have a clue of what happened at the end. I'm still like, where where did that come from? And you can't just dip into an episode without, I have to remember every other episode, but I can't. Because there's a lot of episodes, the new episodes I've only seen once. So mm-hmm. I'm like, if I rewatched an episode of Jodie's, I would have no clue what was going on because I've only watched her reign like once. Mm-hmm. So I would have no clue. Whereas if I'd only watched David Tennant's once, I could go back and watch an episode and know exactly what was happening, if that makes sense. No, it makes sense. So it just it just stresses me out, which is why I'm excited for him to be back, Russell T. Davis. Even though David Tennant and Donna's only there for like uh Catherine Tate, I should say, is only there for like three episodes. He's staying. Russell is staying. Mm. Which I'm so excited for. And I think the new doctor's gonna be yeah, I think that with him it's gonna be amazing. You are a doctor who had through and here. Do you know? Do you know? It's actually I I do like Doctor Who, but it's mainly because I like David Tennant that I watched it. Like I don't really go back and watch anyone else's era. I watch it once and I'm done. Maybe Matt Smith, but I I don't think I've ever seen a Peter Capaldi episode twice or Jodie Whittaker twice. Like I watched it once and I'm good. I maybe I don't know. Maybe there's a few, but not many. But I'm, not, yeah. I'm not into BBC shows like that, except for one. Uh, Which one do you like? Luther, but well, that's finished. I haven't seen that. I do want to watch that. Very sick. BBC yeah. do good series. There was like Doctor Foster was really good. Um, uh, there was oh my god, what was the one that was? There was one. There's quite a few they've done lately, like crime series. I love like Detective. Then why um, haven't you watched Luther? What? I should. That's, that's what the I'm saying. bench. I that's the it. blueprint. Yeah, I want to watch it. I haven't watched that it. new movie. Um, was shit though. I think the thing is when I was when I was younger like I only ever watched like BBC and ITV like that was it yeah, but then when like did. Netflix came out and Amazon came out I kind of stopped yeah, watching yeah. the TV and I just started watching like Netflix I was things. not a BBC kid because I had the luxury of kids channels I never <laughs> went to, to BBC what am I doing there when I've got flipping the sickest shows on like Nickelodeon and shit. What the hell am I doing on BBC, bro? No, like I've I've always had like Sky. I've always had every channel, but like BBC and ITV were like nah, man. They weren't that I good. A lot. I watched other shows. Like, don't get me wrong. Like when I was younger, my father would be like on the History Channel, on the Geography Channel, and I would be watching things about the World War, like geography, shit, what's happening in Antarctica. Jordan, what did you watch when you were younger, Big? Oh, you. Let's say primary school. What was school. what was big on TV and in the school back then? I mean, um, I fucking know. I was watching the same things as you. Nickelodeon. I went back, yeah, because I remember. I, I'm and going back. To... Some, adult, some adult stuff too, like not, not that stuff. Not... Did you watch Disney? Some stuff. Some Disney stuff was <laughs> really a miss, like. Um, Hannah Montana was such a shit show. Oh, I, I, I like it. It's, it's actually it trash. Wizard. Sweet Life was also was, bad. Wizard of Waverly Place was garbage. Oh, yeah. Sweet, um, Sweet Life was all right. Yeah, okay. Did you see that, that thing was... the other day where it was like um, when they made a reservation in the Sweet Life? Oh, yeah, because it was I the other like, day. That made me feel so old because I remember that episode coming out. Oh, gosh. Mosby made it funny a few times, I must say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I liked him in London, Tipton. Them two were like, um, I think it was the best characters. Oh, Esteban as well. Just some saying his name. Yeah, see, that was like, Disney was on the lower tier of channels back then. For me, Cartoon Network was top. I didn't watch any of that. Yeah, see, like, you missed out, man. Cartoon Network wait, was maybe I watched one. Cartoon... What was Scooby-Doo on? Boomerang. Boomerang. I watched Boomerang. Yeah. yeah. But when I was younger, you see, I was really late to Disney, like, because I watched... When I was younger, honestly, my dad would put things like I Throw Chuckers on. 
or like the gold rush thing like where you're trying to find gold or as i said like world war stuff and history stuff geography stuff so i didn't watch it when i was younger and then i literally i remember going to my friend's house and she had hannah montana on and i was like i was so confused i was like is she hannah is she miley like what is going on i was so it's confused. a very simple concept <laughs> yeah it, no but i'd seen the one episode and i was so i was like what the hell is going on and then I ended up watching it, but I yeah, I don't think I started watching Disney until I was probably like late primary school, like early secondary school. Yeah, I think it's when I realised that I don't really like live shows because they're kind of shit. With some like exceptions. Sitcoms, you mean, like, yeah, the, the kids' the sitcoms were just well. not good. Like stuff like iCarly was garbage. I didn't. Uh, I never watched it. I never watched Nickelodeon. Um, Keaton and Kel was alright. Um. And then you lot had stuff like, I know there was H2O just that water for all the girls. Never seen that either. Um, what else was there back then? That was like real people. Um, Victorious? Yeah, that was later. That was la- later oh. than like iCarly. I mean, I, that did birth Ariana Grande's career, so. You see, I've not seen, I literally have never seen Nickelodeon. I was, I've just watched Disney. But I didn't watch, I literally spent a lot of my childhood outside, like playing in the street. I seem I to remember. That saw Raven being okay. That was before me watching it as well. I watched part of it, but not a lot of it. Yeah. Because that came out in like, I feel that was like mid 2000s, whereas I didn't really start watching it until like 2008, 2009. Yeah, it was gone by then. Yeah. yeah. I watched like reruns, but not really. Most of what I watched was cartoons anyway. Shit. I mean, I still watch Phineas it. and Ferb. I didn't like Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb. I didn't like it. Man. Simpsons, yeah, I have watched a lot of The Simpsons, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's that you can put on in the background. That's true. I remember when back when it used to be on, like, BBC Two first, you know. I remember BBC Two used to have Simpsons, six o'clock. Yeah. I knew because it would line up with my dinner. So I'd be ready there with my food watching The Simpsons. (laughs) And then after, it was Hollyoaks. Oh my god! <laughs> I've never seen that it's, funny enough, it is actually still like that, just on a different channel. Yeah, and then it moved to channel four. Both that's of them. Like, it's yeah, still, yeah. It's still there. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. One of the. Uh, yeah. the, show's, know, the show's still going. I kind of. Yeah, it is. I kind of miss them times, like where you didn't have so many TV. Like when I was younger, I had Sky, and a lot of my friends didn't have Sky, and I felt like. I felt like I had so many channels to choose from. But we didn't have Netflix, Amazon, any of that. Like, we didn't have on-demand. You had, like, a DVD or a, um, a video, and that may be occasionally. But that was it. You had what was on TV to choose from. But I kind of liked that time. I'm not going to lie. Like, I feel like there's too much to choose from now sometimes. Uh, I'm you like... have to remember, a lot of the reason that you don't like it now is because, funnily enough, back then, most of what was run was ads. Half the show is ads. The ads... Uh, take up 20 minutes, I think, mm-hmm. per half. Of, what? Ah, the show would be like 10 minutes long, but it's just ads. Do you know what they do in America? I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but in America, I don't know if you've gone, but what they do, you know, like at the end of a TV program, you have an ad. Mm-hmm. They don't do that. They put, they don't put an ad. They put an ad like five minutes or something before the end of the TV program and then start the next TV program like straight away to get you to keep watching. Because, you know, like, when you have an ad at the end of a TV programme, a lot of people turn over. But if it literally runs from, like, one programme to the next, you don't have a moment to, like, turn over because you've already started watching the next episode. Which, to keep people, like, watching, I think that's really smart. Because, you know, when you've started watching the next episode and you're, like... Like, if you're watching, like, something like Friends and you're, like, I'm going to just watch one episode and then you get... Then you've just started watching the next episode about realising... And then you're like, oh no. Why do you think Netflix get you the way they get you? I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's smart. Mad. But we don't have that here. Like, at the end of an episode, on, like, regular TV, you'll, you'll have an advert. Mm. I but hate adverts, man. That's why I can't watch I TV. Hate. Do you know, I hate adverts, but I do kind of miss, I don't know, having that, like, ick. If you're like running to the kitchen or something, yeah, to get in a quick between, snack, like, cereal, just then hop back in. Yeah, because you needed, a, like, a pause for a minute. Yeah, no, but you'd no, miss no. it. You couldn't pause because you didn't have. I didn't have pause until I was like. Yeah, until 15, my mom came 16. home with Sky Plus, and I'm like, oh shit, I can pause this shit, record when I'm not watching it. Well, I remember when we we didn't get a smart TV at first because my dad spoke about getting a smart TV when we were younger, 
like when it when it first came out i can't remember i think i was a young teenager but we didn't understand what it meant and he was like why do we want to like go on the internet on the tv like he thought that you literally used it as like just to go on google and he was like what the hell do we need this for like you can use your phone so we were like why do we want it and then like three years later we realized that like it meant that you could use like netflix and things like that and we were like oh maybe maybe we do we do want it so we like upgraded it all but yeah i wasn't i i don't think we had all of that until i was like 16 at least it's funny that i'm at that weird age where i've kind of experienced almost the whole of technology like mm-hmm. i've experienced those super fucking old phones landlines you remember landlines yes oh my god we could hear each other because we had two in our house, but they connected. Yeah. So if one of us was on the phone, you could, could pick, pick up and up. listen. Yeah. I'd be like, I'd like pick up the phone and be like, "Hi, mom, who are you talking to? Like, hurry up, <laughs> I want to eat." <laughs> My God, I couldn't make no calls. I remember trying to call like girls, and then my mom would pick up the phone. What the I'd be like, "Actually, get to... off the phone." <laughs> you tried to call girls on the. Yeah, line. I had no credit in it, so I couldn't just be belling girls. I had like no That's credit. Funny. I had to save my credit to ring my mum when I when I was out and about. So I was like, okay. Credit? Ah, oh, yes, credit. man. Yes. You see? Look at how they say, what's credit? I didn't have credit on my <laughs> phone. <laughs> credit? Credit, yeah. Maybe they did. Wait. What are they talking about, Jeeves? What are they... Credit? Oh, no, 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 no. I had a contract. <laughs> what did I have like, older? Did I have credit? I'm trying to remember. I that. had a contract, but I got one later. But at the beginning... Oh, no, I did have pay as you go. Pay as yeah, you go. pay as you go. You have to go. I did have pay as you go. Take that £20 to Tesco, get that top up, and you better make that £20 count. Oh, yeah, but you see, I wasn't like you, obviously, because I didn't use my... I really did only use my phone for, like, emergencies or if I wanted to, like, oh, phone no, a friend no, or something. No, 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 I wasn't... If I ran out, my parents would top it up because I wasn't running out. Yeah, no, no. Sense. If, if, I, if ran I, out, I ran out, I'm, I'm ran out, bro. I've, I've run out. Yeah, That's it. Same. Yeah. Yeah. I ran out. I was just like... So, thankfully, I've got a... a thankfully, really? that was back when I got yeah, a... Um, I got a Blackberry. So, that did change... Did that did change... Yo, Blackberry's changed the game, man. I, I yo. I'll always, I'll always remember what me and my sister would do before we were on, like, family vacations, family holidays in August. We would, like, play a laptop with music and we would record it on our phone so we could, like, listen to music on the journey. And we would sit up for a good, like, because we'd always leave it to the last minute. And we would, we would always be leaving at, like, five in the morning or something. And we would sit up all night and just, like, play music and just be like, everyone quiet. <laughs> like, would, like, you know what's mad as well? Even mad, oh, yeah. To think we the storage on them phones back then, you could only have like three songs, so whatever song you they make their songs count. Like... That's why I'm like, yeah. why do I have such a like a a relationship with the song fucking you know Kiss Kiss by Chris Brown? It's because it was one of the two songs I had on my phone, and I played it every day, all the time. I'm like, yep, this is my song. Oh shit, <laughs> that's fucking crazy. When did you guys get phones? Like, how old was you? I was ten. I got my first phone at 11, I think. Just. I think I was in year 5. Year 5 or year 6. At the back end of year 6. I just had like a... I had... My first phone was... Um... Mine was a flip phone. A pink Can phone. Can I find it? It was a... I had a Motorola. It was was it... Oh, shit, Motorola. My sister had a Nokia and I always felt so like... I don't know. Happy that my parents didn't get me a Nokia like as my first phone. I was like, they No, I think I might have had a Nokia. Was it a flip phone? It wasn't a flip phone. I had like a, a, a like a, a slide up phone. Do you know, like one, you know, yeah, you slid up this. Oh, uh, I had the 3310. No! Yeah, no, 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 that was my first phone. Nokia. Yeah, I had the classic 3310. My mom just gave me I wanted one. Nokia because I wanted to play Snake. I yeah, used I to borrow like it. my sister on my nan's phones to like be able to then play my Snake. Mom hit me with the upgrade and I got the, the Sony Ericsson, I don't even remember the model, what was it, K700i, Jesus, look at this phone man, oh my god, <laughs> and then I think after that I got um, the slide phone, you know when, I've only had three phones, they, they moved from um, flipping to sliding, Yeah. I like slide I had... phones, I think I started on the slide, I went to the Blackberry, because my dad said to me, do I want a an iPhone or a Blackberry and an iPod 
And I went for the Blackberry and the iPod because all my friends had the Blackberry. Right, and I wanted to be on BBM. You really had to be on BBM or you are. So I got, because I, I remember my dad's empty. friend was like, why don't you want an iPhone? Like, iPhones rule. And I was like, no, it's Blackberry all the way. I was, oh my goodness. It, and then, like, two in years hindsight, later, we were naive. We were just yeah. kids thinking, so I want to be cool. I want to. I don't want to miss all the shit that everyone else is doing. Yeah. And the only way you're gonna do that is with BBM. I think I had a BlackBerry from like year seven to like year nine, and yeah, then same. I was like, nope, I I need not. No, I think maybe year eight. I don't know. I was like, no, I need an iPhone now. How can people with iPhones be less cool than people with Blackberries back then? That makes no sense. I know. Oh my god. Yeah, haven't they got like out of like? Service. like they don't make them anymore i don't think Blackberry. i think they make a couple like model they ones. were good work phones in a way like there was they were that's what they were for phones. that's what bbm yeah. was originally for and then and you'd put like brb and things like, like when you was on msm when you were younger and things like that or like you could put the song that you was listening to at the moment or oh you could put like gosh. a status and it was like at school the thing that was crazy like... about bbm was it was one of the first things where you could send photos around so that's how do you remember from... the chains that you would send? Yes. It was like, reply to this if number one you want this or number two you want this. Oh, and then so I remember weird. people's news getting leaked because that was like the first. No, no, yeah, that's that's that was the first instance. Back then, sent one girl must have sent one guy something. That's so sad. Next minute, round the whole school. I'm like, that's crazy. No, that's so sad. No, it's not good, man. It's not good. That's it's pro- so it's probably way, way, way worse now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My goodness. I don't think that happened at my school. But I don't know, though. I, don't, I went to an all-girls school, though, as well. I went Maybe to an all-boys school. In all fairness, that could be worse. I went to an all-boys school, but it was close to an all-girls school. So Yeah, kind of same. I went to an all-girls like... We mixed in some things. Yeah, but... like prom. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. Only year 13 prom, though, not year 11 prom. But also in GCS, in A-levels, and some GCSEs, I think, we had to go, like, to and from. Like, I, but I didn't. I, got, I went to like a mixed school for my uh, drama. I didn't go to the boys' school for anything. But they did like business and things there. <laughs> they don't but, do business as girls' school. I see. I know. Honestly, it was actually, there was a lot of stuff. Like looking back at my, like the girls' school that I went to, a lot of the things like the STEM kind of um, subjects and like business and things like that, they didn't do at the girls' school. You had to go. You had to go to the boys' school to do it. Uh, sexist oh, well. will never die. I mean, it is a bit sexist. Morris, you're right. Ay, ay, ay. I doubt it's changed, though, to be honest. They probably have changed it slightly. <laughs> I hope so. Because a lot of people wanted to do business. I think if my school would have done business, I probably might have done it. Looking back, I wish I'd done it. But I didn't really know that you could do it at the time. I mean, listen, I, I could go it back. Wasn't a big, was it I advertised? would have oh, well. done music A level. I did GCSE. it GCSE. I, should, I would have done both. What? I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought. What did you do? Oh yeah, I wanted to because I wanted to do finance at uni back then. Because I thought, oh yeah, you know, music's not really sustainable. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Um, yeah. So I did. What did I do? A level. I did business studies, psychology, and economics. Blimey, I'm even saying it, I'm like. Yeah. Mate, I did the subjects you probably wanted to do then, because in in GCSEs I did, we had you had to pick four, didn't you? And I did, um, I did music, drama, RS, RE, and um, French, and then <laughs> in so A random. levels. Sorry. That's so random. Right, that's not that random. Music, drama. RS. Where did why? What? Why are you doing religious studies, bro? Mate, okay. There was a couple of reasons. One of the reasons was I thought it was going to be like easy, an easy subject to do, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And you had to pick like from different categories, like one from a category. So it. it Yeah. yeah. What did I do at GCC? Oh, I I did ICT. We had to do ICT. I did triple science and i think art yeah i did do art didn't i i got an a I can't draw i am um, yeah but the other reason did rs was or we called it rs but it's re um is i don't know i just think it's really like important to know about other religions so i was like i would be like to be more open about things and to know to, so i can be like very respectful to people because i understand be, their religion would more. you be with a religious man um it depends on how religious they are. 
I could be with someone who was like Christian, who believed in God, like go ahead, like like that's between you and do you know what I mean like I'm not going to try and get in the way of someone's religion but if they were like I need to go to church every Sunday I need to pray every day I want to do this I want to do that but people also live their life through the Bible like they live their life by the Bible and I don't agree with a lot that's in the Bible some people don't but that's what I mean I don't care if you believe in God but I don't really want to live my life by the Bible so So what I'm hearing is the answer is no it would be it would be a yes if you wasn't that religious if you was like full on Bible, that's what i mean man. religious bro like you, you're following whatever book of guidance has been given and no you... but some people believe in god but they just don't necessarily like is i don't mind being with someone who believes in god because i'm agnostic like i believe that we don't know what's out there like we've yes, had these conversations I did, I i'm very much like i don't know so... i didn't say agnostic i said religious I no mean... but that's what i'm saying but i'm not atheist I'm no, but you're agnostic. You are not religious. Religious, I mean, you're following no, but re- whatever religious practices you're supposed to be doing. I'm not, yeah, no, I'm not religious at all. But what I'm saying is I'm not also against religion. Like, a lot of people are against religion. I'm not. I honestly, like, I'm jealous of a lot of people that have a religion. But what I'm saying is there are different, so, like, I know a lot of Christians that are Christian and they believe in God, but they, like, they're less Christian than I am, you know? Like, they don't, they don't really follow like they don't go to church they don't pray they don't do any of that they barely follow the bible at all but they still believe in god like i've got no issue if someone believes in god it's i just don't think i could i wouldn't be compatible with someone who needed to go to church all the time who needed to pray all the time who wanted to like you wouldn't go follow with it them. completely sorry you wouldn't go with them i went to brownies i did brownies when i was younger and i went to church i had to go once a month and actually like I, I've been to church, like, when my granddad died, I used to go to, like, this yearly service as well for a couple of years of, like, the mm. remembrance service. And I've gone to, like, Chris Dingle, things like that. Because um, I do come from slightly a religious family, like, on my dad's side. Um, not, again, like, my nan's religious, but she's not, like, she believes in God, but mm. she's not, like, you wouldn't know that just by speaking to her because she doesn't live her life, like, by the Bible, if that makes sense, completely. So... I could be with someone who was religious. I just don't think I could be with someone who lived their life like completely by the book. Because no, I get it. My, by sister, by my sister be like that. She's like we wouldn't be compatible. I was so. playing tunes the other day, and she was like, "Oh yeah, I don't listen to secular music." And I was like, "Yeah, what? I've seen, oh I've shit, seen, man! That's I've seen one. a lot of." I've seen a lot of like, TikToks about that, like when you're a Christian, you know, you're listening to music and then it mentions the devil and you're like, oh, I can't listen to this anymore. I'm like, it's just music. And, no, and, but, and then I was rinsing like old tunes from like 2000s and she was singing along. I'm like, hold on. I thought you couldn't do secular music. And she was like, well, you know, I really know these songs and I can't really help that. I'm like, Inter-. but I wouldn't put them on is what she said. I'm like, mm-hmm. interesting. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I'm like, I've got, yeah, I could be a religious person. It all, it, it, it also depends on which religion because there are some religions that like more align with the way I live my life and there are others that like are completely opposite to how I live my life. But how can I be with someone who lives their life completely opposite to me? Because I don't think it would be fair on either of us because I don't want to take away someone's religion from them, not even meaning to. Like, I don't want someone to feel like they can't live their life how they want to live their life because they're with me. Um, Makes sense. Because there are certain things like that I don't like. I want to do like, for instance, I would have to live with someone before I married them. There is absolutely no way I can marry someone, sign a contract that literally bind like binds us together, and financially and everything. To then find out that they, I don't know, like they, they're really untidy or like they they snore i couldn't be as i you know just stupid things that like <laughs> that, i like how that's like, what you went with that's not whenever no, that conversation comes up that is never my first thought i'm thinking okay but what if you what if your beating is dead what if i don't know what if you go hiv i'm kidding i think like you yeah but no before. but that's different than living with someone that's if you're sleeping with someone beforehand that's different to could living. you could but, you do no. no sex before marriage no even no, it was guaranteed to be your life partner. Guaranteed. Absolutely not. No. Try before you buy. Have to. Absolutely. 100%. But Absolutely what? no way. You could be banging. You, you're you just taking a gamble. You can teach. Absolutely not. There's absolutely no way I'd marry someone without sleeping with them first. Like, there's no, there's no chance. For me, it's not that. even about the, 
oh, it might be shit if I don't. It's the, bro, how can I be as attracted as I am to you and just sit here doing nothing? But I'm not someone, I don't value something on sleeping with someone. Like, that's, I know people do, but, like, as I said, like, a lot of religious people will because they'll follow, like, that's what I mean. I'm not, to me, it's just something, it, yeah, it creates children and things, but it's also something it's you do for fun. I don't know, it's something like, you do with your partner. Literally, or, literally. It's something I, I people do it. just do. Like, I'm not someone that p puts it on a pedestal. And I think especially for females in life, like, it's been put as something like, you're a slut, and it's, it's, I think it is definitely judged more for girls than it is for guys, like, if you sleep with someone, like, casually. Um, but in general as well, like, uh, I mean, you do you. Like, if, if someone wants to wait till marriage, I personally could not think of anything yeah, worse. Yeah, one, one of my friends is doing that. I'm but, like, I could not see you, him. Yeah, abs I would definitely never, like, um, I can never advise someone to do that, like, because I just think that's, like, so crazy. I, I'm, but, not, I'm not trying to do that. But if they want to, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm just, like, if they ask for my hey. opinion, no, not at all. No. See your partner but, looking all delicious and you're just there like, oh, yeah, you but look amazing, and you're still like, okay. <laughs> but that's not even what it is for me. Like, it's not even about the waiting and all of that. Like, that's 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 one side of it, but that's not my biggest thing. My biggest thing is if I'm marrying someone, because for me, marriage is I want to be married. Yes, I want to be a wife, but also marriage is um, it's smart in terms of the law, like for like next to kin and things like that, and it makes life a lot easier with certain things. But you're also like you're joining your finances and you're joining a lot together and it's quite hard especially when kids are involved if you have a divorce and it gets tricky and things so it's there's a lot of things i need to know everything about the person i marry and i do not want any surprises when i'm after i'm married and i mean there's the small things like not knowing being like oh it's cool you like this music that's cool like after you're married that's one thing uh -huh. but actually not knowing like big on things about someone like, i need to know everything about how are you not going to know their music until after marriage? no but i don't mean it like that i mean like if there was a, an old song that you loved when you was a kid for instance and then after you got married you found out that they loved that song too but you've not listened to it in a while like something like that like that's uh -huh. small but it's like oh cool that's a cool thing to learn but something like they can't cook or they snore or they're really untidy or you, you're not these well things involved, are or... things you find out so early you have to find them things out, is what I'm saying. You don't have to find out. Yeah. Oh, you'll know if someone can or can't cook. It's quite obvious. No, but there. No, but I'm. I like. I list in like a lot of things. Like, and what I'm saying is, you learn more when you live with someone. And like, I just have to know everything about someone, like everything about them, in that kind of sense, before I marry them, before I commit my life to them. Because also, like, I don't want a divorce. Like, I do not want to get a divorce. Like, that is one of my biggest fears. So. How am I going to gamble? Like getting married to someone is a gamble, no matter how well or you know them. Like it's how big that gamble is. Because you could know nothing about someone, get married in Vegas after knowing them a day and spend the rest of your life with them, like extremely happy. That's probably happened to people before, like I'm sure. Or you could be with someone for like ten years, know everything about them, get married and then get divorced a year later. Like it's a gamble, whatever you do. But obviously the um the chances of getting divorced are going to be a lot lower if you actually know the person inside out that you're marrying and you've lived with them and you've slept with them and you you know what they're like when you have a fight like some people get married to someone and they've never had, had an argument and they think that's a flex and i'm like don't get me wrong like it's good if you're compatible and you don't argue a lot but if you get married and you've never really had a big argument how do you know if you're going to be able to survive an argument you know, like um, you've got to go through everything. That's because yeah, that's because people don't communicate, bro. Like, what I've learned is the I'm more saying, the bro. more relations I've been in, I'm like, I've gotten a lot better at communicating. And suddenly, arguments are like, what's there to argue about, bro? But like, there's nothing wrong with having an argument. But what I'm saying is, like, obviously, yeah, you don't want to have like you don't want to be in a relationship where you're arguing twenty four seven. But there's nothing wrong with having disagreements and arguments about things. But it's, disagree, it's bound but to happen. I'm not. But I'm I not. Think... I ain't gonna shout, for example. I'm not a shout. Yeah. I'm not but gonna... I think the strongest relationships aren't the relationships that you don't have arguments in. They're the relationships that you have an argument in, but then afterwards you can sit down, you can communicate your feelings, you can say why you felt that way, and then you can move on. You could you have done that in the time. first place. Sorry. But you could have done that in the first place. Yeah, you could have. But they're obviously, don't, like, you're not going to go through your life and not have an argument with your partner. Like, it's not going to happen. Like, 
I cannot ever imagine someone going through their whole life. But what I'm saying is if you married someone without knowing things like that, then when if you married someone in and you'd only ever lived in the honeymoon stages of a relationship with them and then you married them and then you realize that life is not a honeymoon like there are, you have to deal with like some shitty things in life and you have to see how you can work together to, through it you know i don't know like i need to know everything about someone so there's absolutely no way that i'm getting married to them without knowing like everything Fair. But that's just me. Like, if other people want to, if other people don't want to know everything about their partner. Right, I'm not a gambler as well. I'm not into that. Yeah, I'm not a gambler. There's no way I'm spending a lot of money getting all my family together in a room or whatever for a wedding between me and my partner to then divorce them like a year later. Are you inviting your whole family? To my wedding? Mm. I don't have a lot of family. I've got a massive family. Best believe yeah. I'm only inviting my direct family or if I like I... you. I, I need to marry I, someone. I can't be friend. having no scragglers that I don't really know turning up to yeah. my wedding. I have always hated that. I Especially get that. African but... weddings, they're like, oh yeah, just invite everyone, and then everyone invites ten people. Mm. Why am I serving three hundred people? I don't even know your name. But I don't. I actually made a list the other. I made a list the other day, just because I was wondering of how many people I actually know versus how many of them I actually think would come to my wedding. Like, I would like to think a lot of my family would come to my wedding. Um, but, mate, I don't have a big family. So even if only, who, like, who, 75% who's, who's of them... Who's doing mates, up your bridesmaids? Who's my bridesmaids? I don't know. Right now? It's changed. So. Who would it be? I don't... My, my sister's literally the only person that I can say hand on heart will be... She'll be my maid of honour. Crazy! Because I don't, because when I was 10, I had my bridesmaids. When I was 15, I had my bridesmaids. When I was 20, I had my bridesmaids. Yeah, and, the and I'm thing asking is, now. Sorry? And I'm asking right now. But and now I've come to the realisation that it's probably going to change. That's fine, but as, as it stands today. I don't know. My, I've got a couple of friends in America that I would love for them to be my bridesmaids. Um, so the two of them, I would hope, would be my bridesmaids. And I think that's probably not going to change. Um... Have, I have a friend from school, probably will also be my bridesmaid. Uh, a couple of people from uni, maybe, like in our friendship group. Um, but, yeah. I don't want many, though, as well. I don't want to... I mean, mm. maybe, like, three bridesmaids and then my sister as the maid of honour. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I've got some of mine decided, but... But also, I would have, like, probably the sibling. If the, if my, um, if my uh, future husband had a sister yeah, yeah yeah maybe they would also depending on like my relationship with them they might also like be a bridesmaid as well so or like i'd probably like if my if my future husband had like a girl best friend like some people don't like things like that it doesn't bother me if, if he had like a childhood friend then i'd be more than happy for them to be my bridesmaid as well because hopefully i would be close enough with them as well that they would also then be my friend so yeah I'm really like it doesn't really bother me that much. It changes a lot, so. I mean, you're the, literally the only person I know for certain is my sister. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't thought about this at all. I'm not even sure I could invite certain it. people because I'm not even sure they'd come. <laughs> I very much hope that I'd be invited to your wedding, Anthony. I know you'd be invited to my wedding. I don't know why Thank we you. have to go through this. I didn't even ask you because I know I'm invited. I, what what am I? What are we doing here? Even if we fall out of touch, like, I don't know why, but, like, in, like, five... If, like, in, say, we lose touch, and then, like, five years later, I still expect an invite to your wedding. Like, 100%. Okay. And you too, Jordan. Thank you. Case closed. Want an invite? No, no discussions. <laughs> Mod. I want the invite. <laughs> I think we'll end it there, you know. <laughs>